Pregame.com. Welcome back, Pregame.com. I'm Pauly Howard. That's Teddy Covers. Today, what does the opening line mean in 2014? For years in Las Vegas, we had the Stardust Show. That was a terrific listen. Now you have the world openers at the win in college football. And with Offshore, what does the opening line mean? Break it down. And, and that's a great question because the answer is there is no opening line in 2014. You talk about the win coming out first mm -hmm. in college football. Yeah, the win's going to hang some unique numbers in college football. And then here in Las Vegas, we talk about the, the LVH, West, you know, the Westgate is what they're called now, the Superbook. They're going to hang, uh, be first to market on some numbers. Uh, CG Gaming, Cantor, they're going to be first to market on some numbers. Offshore, you have uh, Bet Online, BOL. Very, very low limits, but oftentimes they're first to market uh, across sports. Is that true numbers. with the other places? In low limits? Very low limits, okay. yeah. Well, uh, no, BOL in particular has, has very low limits on their opener, but on the opening numbers, you're not getting enormous wagers down. You're not getting 20 dimes on the opening number. The books won't take it. Yep. Uh, whereas later in the week, it's, you know, if you want to make big bets, you certainly can. Uh, the opening numbers aren't designed to do that. You know, the opening numbers are designed for the books to kind of, quote unquote, pound the number into shape and let the wise guys take a couple of shots before all the other books around the globe copy them. But offshore, you have BOL is going to open first. You know, bet online is going to open first. You have Bookmaker, you have Penny, you have Five Dimes, you have Greeks, all of whom originate some numbers. So you say, what's the opener? And this book might hang a six, and this book might hang a three, and this book might hang a four and a half. The difference between the Greek opener versus the Bookmaker opener, or the win opener in Las Vegas versus the Westgate opener, there's no difference. You know, it does, it, it's not one that you can say, this is the opening number. It's a global marketplace. So let me tell you how, what I like to do, Paul, because uh, we talk about what the opening number is. And you hear so many guys, oh, this number opened blank and now has moved to blank. Send and, out was this. Yeah. Now it's, yeah. And, and, and I'm looking at my screen. I'm like, that didn't happen at all. You know, uh, if, if you're not looking at the broader market, the aggregate market as a whole, you're looking at one individual book. Yeah, they might have opened at four and a half, and now the number's at six. But if the broader markets opened at seven, and now the line's holding at six, that, that four and a half was just an outlier number. This is what I like to do, Paul. About, for, for football, for example. On Monday morning, the line's going to open Sunday night. On Monday morning at 8 a.m., I, I, I write down what I call the consensus number. I go through all the books, and eh, the number's about eight and a half. Uh, let's call it let's call it eight and a half for this one. You know, one book's got an eight, one book's got a nine, uh, but they're eight and a half scattered in. I'm going to write down eight and a half as that opening number. Remember, because a lot of the moves that get made on Sunday nights, they're false moves on Sunday nights. They're, yeah, they're yeah. a lot of a, a lot of shenanigans being played with the markets on Sunday nights. Because again, the limits are lower, so it's easier to manipulate a number. This like this game opens six and a half. You want to make it, you want to take a plus seven with the dog? This is what you do. A couple of well-placed bets for lesser amounts at minus six and a half. Boom, you're going to push the number up to seven. Other books are going to copy, and you come back the next day and make, you know, ten times those wagers at plus seven. You know, it took you two little bets to push the whole market up. Now you can make ten big bets and, and, and grab all those plus sevens. That's what you're looking for. So to look at the market moves on Sunday night and think they mean anything dramatic, they don't. So on Monday morning, 8 a.m., I'm going to write down what I, the consensus line. I'm going to call that the opener. And then when I'm watching the line move throughout the course of the week, I'm going to reference my quote-unquote opening number as opposed to any individual's book's opening number. Mine's an aggregate number. And that gives me a better sense of how the market is moving hour to hour, day to day as the week progresses for football. Different story in basketball, though. Mm -hmm. How so? <laughs> there you go. I, I figured you had something yeah, yeah, I got to say. It. <laughs> uh, in, in basketball, uh, the, the first books to market are going to open as early as noon the previous day. Same thing with baseball. You know, when you have the daily sports, the first books open very, very early. The market kind of settles a little bit. A couple more books open later on. You know, we see that in college basketball a lot where, you know, the first books open. The, the college hoops takes them forever to put up numbers. Yeah, but, no kidding. You know, the yeah. mid-afternoon, you'll, you'll see bookmaker hang. Uh, their, their college hoops card, and then a couple hours will go by, and then you'll see some of the Vegas books do it, and some of the other offshores. 
the reality is that the market doesn't even approach maturity until the next morning. So what I like to do is at the end of the night, you know, and I do. I have the routine that I do the end of every night. I'm going through box scores. I'm making my short list for the next day, et cetera, et cetera. And at the end of the night, I'll write down the, what I consider to be the consensus number for hoops, game by game, and then I'll track any movements off of that. So to say the opening number, and these lines are scattered all over the place, it's really it's outdated. The Stardust was the opening number for the world. Yes. Throughout the 90s. Stardust has been imploded now for like 10 years. Uh, all that's the, that, that era has come and gone. It's a global marketplace. There is no one true opening number. It's a consensus number that we use after the market has at least had a chance to begin maturing. Nice work. I know you like the clean carpets at the Stardust. Thanks for watching on pregame.com.